The worst two defensive teams in the league do battle in round 23. It may just be a feeding frenzy at Parramatta Stadium. The Eels up against the Roosters. A change for Parramatta with Ben Smith out with a shoulder injury. It means Matthew Ryan comes into the starting 13. Justin Horro onto the bench in jumper 19 for just his third NRL game of the year. Let's go to the Roosters, who also have a change. BJ Leilua is out with a back strain. It means Adam Henry will play his fourth NRL game of the year. The former Warriors under-20s winger given a start in the Roosters' back line again. The interchange, Mortimer, Arona, Kennedy and Bosden. The coach, Brian Smith. We're underway on Super Saturday at NRL level. A short kickoff. So he's a fight for the ball and possession won by the Roosters. Well, what a confident start into this strong breeze. And they go straight on the attack. You wonder why teams don't try it more often. Jake Friend out of acting half <laughs> within metres and going very close in the opening minute, better than close. The Roosters have been denied. Brad Takarangi, the man. Try to line the Well, they're saying he's lost it or he grounded it before the line and lost control of it wonderful play from the roosters interchanging of passing and he loses it before the line good call correct call by jared maxwell i thought for sure we were going to to go to the video referee and i thought it was going to be a try the referees jared maxwell and dave munro and maxwell in great position to make a fantastic ruling a Parramatta survived. What a start from the Roosters. Let him up. Hold. Hold it. Boy. Yeah. Boy Boy. Having his first touch a little later than he would have thought. You would have expected him to lead the hit up. Nathan Smith into acting half and into Tim Banner. Manor and Ken Seo are the only Eels to play every game this season. And Manor, the only Parramatta forward averaging above 100 metres. Sunday kicked right on top of the 40 metre line and drove it up the middle. It was touched by Minicello, but backwards is the call. He was able to get away with that one, Anthony Minicello. With the tactics from Parramatta, looking to get to that 40 metre line and kick with this strong breeze at their back. Here's Moga. Many metres out of acting half. Matt Ryan starting and shutting down the Roosters on the step. And now Anasta. Still short of his 40 metre line. Plays it. Nuasala dummies and takes on the defensive line. Smith, Moy Moy and Manor involved defensively. Here's the last. Anasta gives it. Pierce kicks just his side of halfway. And Jake Mullaney for Parramatta will return. By Orbison and Kenny Dow. Now Ryan Morgan in the Warrior Hargreaves. Jake Friend, the last man up. Ken Seo, Parramatta's leading try scorer this season. He's crossed 13 times and been a real fine through 2012. Ken Seo. Smith sends play the short side and Tua jolted in a tackle from Boyd Cordner who is very strong defensively early in his NRL career and a mistake by Roberts the ball arrived a little low and out in front he's a confidence player Ben Roberts and that will hurt him that'll knock him around but he's got to move on pretty smartly he can't let this error affect his performance for the rest of the game when you've got your breeze, uh, the breeze at your back, you've got to use it. Friend, Cordner, who ran into Moy Moy. Norsala gives it to Takarangi again. Norsala on the charge. Wrapped up high by Hindmarsh down low. It was Smith. Friend out of that thing. He accelerates. 
and provide some momentum. Good passing. It went behind the wingman. And again, Parramatta hang on. Strum boys on tackle four. Adam Henry shakes his head. It was the right idea by the Roosters, but poorly executed. Jake Friend getting out of dummy half. They created some numbers. Lovely pick up there by Adam Henry. And the no-look pass out to Moga. Going behind him over the sideline. They've had two let-offs now, Parramatta. Yeah, boys, arms up and over here. Up and over you, mate. It appears that Henry is playing in the centres with Moga staying on a wing. Henry has made his three appearances for the Roosters as a winger. Comes in, it seems, as a direct replacement for centre BJ Leilua. Although they may share that role as the game develops. Marsh gives it to Roberts. We'll see the ball under plenty of pressure, but held on this time. Now Matua to Mana to Moy Moy. Two plays left for the Eels. Kicks inside his 40. It's taken now. Matua Vasashek. Showed us some great footwork and speed last week against the Dragons, this young man. Kenny Dow. Tackled his side of halfway. And now Orbison goes for run himself. Warrior Hargreaves in the manner and Moy Moy. The Roosters have won their last three games against Parramatta and their last three games against Parramatta at this ground. A winning head-to-head -head record here. Here's the last for the visitors. In good position again, and Nasta chips it towards the corner. Timing his run, Mullaney didn't get up. There was a knock-on against the Roosters, so Parramatta will come away with possession. And they've spent the majority of the first Six and a bit minutes deep in their own territory the years. Yeah, the Roosters had all the possession. Braith and Astor putting it in the air there for a contest on last play. They're sailing close to the, the win, the Roosters, with their advantage line runs. The passing game from Jake Friend onto his forwards. They need to be careful. They don't give away possession. Roberts takes a tackle from Jake Friend and Orbison. Now Matua goes long to Will Burt, and it opened up for Burt. He gets the fans out of their seats, kicks infield for Morgan. Ryan Morgan gets a bounce. Para go the length. What a start from the Eels. What a ball from Rennie Matua. It's a part of his game that's really developed and come on. Going down a short side, the cutout pass to Luke Burt, and Luke Burt just sums it up so smartly. There's the ball from Matua. Kenny Dow doing a terrific job to get in between Burt and Morgan. But when Burt kicked it back in field, Morgan just had too much speed. And really, they had the numbers there, but he was caught in field to Avazashek. And Renny Matua has found him out. 6 0 to the home team. Adam McDougall, did you almost jump out of your chair and tackle an adversary? Because Luke Burt has still got a bit of speed. Oh, that was fantastic. Play, I was up out of my chair clapping. What great play by Parramatta there. Fantastic vision from Luke Burt with a deft little kick. The Roosters today in the warm up were showing the sidelines of Parramatta, hoping to push them out of the sidelines. So I think that you'll see that tactic used tonight, that long ball to the winger. Braith and Asta gets ready for the restart. Well, it'll be a short kickoff. Sean Kenny Dow, the right centre, is over on the left side of the field. So that indicates it's going to be short. He drives it. It's held up in the win and lands mid-term, shall we say. And it's Chase Blair rocked by Adam Henry, who bounced away and let Maria Hargreaves and Mitchell Pearce finish off the tackle. Here's Manor. A strange setup for that kick. To kicking it, Kenny Dowell on the left. They had no numbers to the right. If Parramatta were able to get the ball and shift it, it's something to look at later. It was an early completion from Parramatta. 
They get a good bounce as well, and now Minicello tries to get beyond his 10. Slips right on top of it, and succumbs in a tackle by Hindmarsh, who led the chase. And makes back-to-back -back tackles along with Nathan Smith. We shouldn't deny the hooker who is charging upfield as well. Look at that, three in a row. That time it was Matt Ryan, and make it four in a row for Hindmarsh. He's not retiring, is he? Can he complete the book? Come up with all six, Nathan. He's looking for another tackle. Across field, gets away from Hindmarsh. This time it was Takarangi, but it was Tim Manor and Smith. He was looking for five in a row, Hindmarsh. Pierce, long, out in front. Good take to Avastashev, passing off the ground with no one touching him. Totally legal. He's got fast feet and a fast mind as well, it would seem. Yeah, well, if you're going to run the ball on last tackle, you need to execute your skills a lot better than that. They put a lot of pressure on themselves there, the Roosters. They're lucky to get away with the kick in the end. The energy levels are certainly lifted for Parramatta. Sando. Ryan, let's remember before they collapsed against the Tigers, they had beaten Melbourne on this ground and Brisbane. Away. A couple of big scalps. Sando to Hindmarsh. Now Roberts. Mullaney chimes in. He gives it to Morgan. And Morgan couldn't get the ball to Luke Burt. The tackle around the feet from two of Arsa Shep was a good one on Morgan. And Sando with a chip or a stab kick. And back catching it on the full. It's Moga. They look good, Parramatta, when they move the ball. They've got some speed out wide with Morgan and Blair. And I think Brad Arthur's encouraged the team to use the football more. Moga takes a tackle. Here's Cordner. Stopped on the spot. Ran into Hindmarsh and Moy Moy. Sends it back the other way. Pierce set it up for his support play and Takarangi. And now Anasta passes to Pierce who gets trapped, throws the ball to Maria Hargreaves. It looked like a dubious pass, but it continues. Now Friend has to rush a pass. Takarangi considers his options, goes back to Friend who just punts it upfield. He'd had enough. And Mullaney. Well, the last two sets of six that the Roosters have had, they've elected to run the ball on last tackle. And it hasn't been to great effect. If Brian Smith didn't want his team to play touch football, that is not great science. Sando gives it straight away. Manor works the short side. Stopped by Takarangi. Sando again to Hindmarsh. Runs it. Lua Sala and Jake Friend make the tackle. Roberts across field. Goes short and flat to Morgan. Here's the last. And they'll kick from an attacking position again. Roberts to Sando. Dinks it back towards the post. And Minicello, with plenty of time, makes no mistake. Great reaction from Minicello because he was heading to his left and he had to stop and check himself and move back to his right. And he got on the football with plenty of time. Roosters chasing back-to-back -back wins for only the second time this season. They've been victorious in rounds five and six. And they do it in rounds 22 and 23. Pierce running. He's the Roosters' leading try scorer this season with nine. 17 try assists as well, Mitchell Pierce. Now the kick will find touch. Eight metres out from Parramatta's in goal. Yeah, good kick there by Braith and Astor running into the breeze, keeping it low. I think when you're playing into a strong breeze, you need to take time off the clock. You know, so with your kicking game, if you can find touch, walk to the scrums. Don't give the opposition 